Hi, my name is Chef Anthony Cochina, and we're here to do some college makeshift cooking at Tommy's house. Follow me. The hip. Oh. Hey, Tommy. Hey, Chef Anthony Cochina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Come on in. We're here to do some uh, makeshift cooking. Absolutely. Come on in, we'll show you around the house first to get you acquainted with the uh, premises. Nice, nice. Well, this is my house. Uh, you know, nothing too fancy, just nice and simple, nice and homely. Right, right. So, uh, it's, not, it's not as bad as I thought, you know. Uh, yeah. Well, why not show you the kitchen? We can get started. Sure, sure. get started with sure. Yeah, no problem. This is, this is where I'm working. So I've got a bathroom right here if you need to take a dump or... So the, the bathroom is next to the kitchen? Yeah. The bathroom is next to the kitchen. Right. Well, you know, eat something, you gotta go to the bathroom. Right. Uh, that's disgusting. But I'm gonna help you make a beautiful lunch with anything you have in your refrigerator and in your pantry. All right, all right. All right? Let's get started. Let's get started. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, so first, what we'd like to do is inspect the kitchen. All right? This is Tommy's kitchen. It's... Probably one of the worst kitchens I've ever seen. Uh, pretty gross. There's a well, cockroach. I cleaned it, cleaned it before he came. That's is that a dead mouse in a mouse trap over there? Oh yeah, that's just little Jimmy. He's been there for a while now. Huh. All right. Well, anyway, besides that, uh, let's see what you got in your fridge. Open it up. Let's see. Uh, can use. I don't think we can use this broccoli because it's pretty old and rotten. This is very, you can get sick off this. No, that's good stuff. You, you throw that in a pot and you got some, it's called, uh, it's called rotten broccoli soup. And it's just, you throw it in some water and it's done. And it's done. Is your favorite color camo? Yeah, why? Wow. It figures you would say that. Let's uh, keep looking. So we have, ah, oh nice. See in the college world, you usually find typical food like this. A piece of dried out meat covered in a lake of fat. Very disgusting, but very edible, especially when you have a lot of drinks. I found this little guy on the side of Highway 9 out there, and I, he just looked too good. He was too meaty. I had to bring him home, skin him, cook him. Made a good meal. All right, uh, frozen vegetables. Mm -hmm. We got some frozen vegetables right here. We can go ahead with this. All right, so we have the Asian-style vegetables, and... Uh, that's some soy sauce. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll do soy sauce, Asian style vegetables. It's a great chaser for whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be lovely so far. I'm very excited about this, a little bit, doing my best to be anyway. And uh, let's look what we got in your pantry. Your pantry? Yeah. Okay, so we got the Asian style new uh, vegetables, mm -hmm. the uh, soy sauce, and here we have ramen noodles. Right. Ramen noodles uh, help sustain college kids for the seven, eight years that they're in school. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have the flavor, oriental flavor, which actually is a rug, but, you know, who cares? Uh, shrimp and chicken. So let's go with the oriental. Since, right. uh, right. It's very neutral, doesn't have a specific flavor. And I also found this uh, beef summer sausage. That's right. All right? Eat those whole. Just a great snack. Just, just about the whole thing. Just like that. Just like that. Like that. A great snap. Your stomach itches a lot, I can tell. No, oh, no. Nah. It's a nervous habit. Oh. Uh. Okay, well, let's get going to the kitchen. Let's do it. First thing you want to do is wash your hands all the time. Safety first. All right, bathroom's right here. I don't really want to go in your bathroom. All right, you use that one. I'll use this Okay. Okay. So we have our frozen vegetables, right. Asian style, Asian style, our ramen noodles, mm -hmm. Oriental style, our beef summer sausage, and our soy sauce. Okay, let's go ahead and grab some butter because we're gonna saute some stuff. Saute? Uh huh. Kinda it's a word. fancy French word. What kind of word is that? Saute. It's a fancy French word that I don't think you can understand, my friend. It's all right. I'm going with that. Let's cut up our sausage. Do get these things 
things. Huh. I'll tell you what, my sausage ain't never wrapped that good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Okay, so. We have our summer sausage. So we're going to slice up some of this summer sausage, which is very funny because I don't know why they call it summer sausage. Mm. Uh, I don't think anybody really does. You know, I usually only get it in the fall and winter. Yeah. Time it's on sale. Yeah, you know, especially when it's on sale. All right, we'll slice it up. We'll dice it up a little bit. So now that our water is boiling, we make them Asian style. Asian style. Asian style. Asian style. Pick that up from a girlfriend. Thought it might be kind of exotic. Exotic. Exotic yeah, vegetables, you know. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. Now that this is boiling, we're waiting for it. We're waiting for our pants to get hot. What kind of food do you usually like to eat? Uh, jerky. Jerky. Jerky, jerky uh, any and all types of venison. Really, any type of, of dried meat. Dried any type meat. of dried, packaged meat, you know. Right. Like the summer sausage. Right, right. Okay. Um, grits. Big fan of grits. Oh, you like grits, huh? Uh, yeah. Skewered pig. Yeah. So we're straining this bad boy out. Got the noodles all nice and ready to go. So, we'll get some of our vegetables in here. Mm. All right. Our vegetables are just about there. Smell funny. Uh, it, it, it that, that's a good smell actually that you're smelling. Uh, believe it or not, I know you're used to eating stuff like roadkill. Right, right. And uh, other uh, vermin-native type animals that Road you find. Roadkill is god hunting. God hunting. I I've never heard it put that way. Uh, but you know it's probably probably for the better, right? So right now I added some uh, the summer sausage. Get some of that out there. I don't know what that is. You should really clean your kitchen a little bit better. I don't know what that. Is. But we're gonna eat it anyway, right? It's gonna, gonna be delicious, good. right? Right, Tommy? A little bit of soy sauce goes a long way. All right, all right. Not about that much. You know, usually I cook in you know fancy restaurants and stuff like that where. You know, our noodles don't get stuck. But, you know, I'm here to cook for you, right? It's my camping pot. Take this camping with me. Cooked all kinds of mushrooms this one time. Got some of my hands with some bad mushrooms and cooked them in here. It's like lost that. for six days. A couple of plates. Yeah, no problem. Voila! You have a nice little uh, meal here. There you go. Thank you, sir. All right, let's have a seat at the table. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Wherever uh, I guess we can. Is it a coonskin hat? Coonskin hat. Did your uh, mammy make it for you? <laughs> yeah, I made that one myself. Ah, uh, for my mammy. For your mammy. Mm -hmm. We'll uh, dig in here. See how it came out. Mm. Chef Anthony, you are my hero. So remember, when you have uh, limited ingredients in your house, it really doesn't matter. You can do just about anything. Invite some friends over, and you'll have a blast.